to run back towards the goal whenever there's trouble. Whenever the ball goes past Trent Ale Alexander-Arnold, he doesn't bust a gut yeah. to get mm -hmm. back into a defensive position. He just sort of jogs back yeah. and expects the rest of the team to, to mop up his mess. Uh, and, and it's something that does need addressing for Jurgen Klopp, for, for Trent himself, um, because he, he will get punished and, and, and teams will single him out. They will, try, they will try and go down that side and target him and play two against one and, and it will cause Liverpool more problems, so it does need addressing. It's, it's not just Trent, it's Van Dijk as well, Gary, who's, who's not been at the <coughs> top of his form. Well, no, I don't think he has been so far this season, maybe at the back end of last season as well, um, as reliable as, as he's been ever since he's been at Liverpool or prior to that. Um, but... There's always a balance, isn't there? You know, let's go back to Trent. Um, by the way, it was his corner that led to Liverpool's third goal. Yeah? So, OK, he's, he's made a couple of mistakes at the back. It's cost, but he has provided a goal. And it's getting that balance right. Um, and let, let's be honest, I think under Jurgen Klopp, Liverpool have been successful. Trent Alexander-Arnold has been highly acclaimed. Um, and... It's whether you want your right back to be, number one, a defender, or whether you want your right back to be more creative for you. And if you want him to be more creative, the chances are he's going to be less effective as a defender. So it's, you, you need to get the balance right. But would you say that he's gone backwards in that sense with the more acclaimed he's been as a player? So, you know, the more success he's had and the more he's been talked about, about being one of the best right backs... Yeah because of his attack. Do you think, when you think back to him when he first broke into the team, he showed more intensity for me. He might have made defensive mistakes, mm. but you expect that in a young player. But his reaction and, and where he was seemed to have a bit more edge to it. At the moment, I'm like you, I'm, I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing the mistake happen and then it's kind of like a, yeah. there's, no re, there's no, no reaction afterwards. Yeah, no, I think there is a, an argument, a strong argument for that. And, and again, when you look at, um, I think it was the second Brighton goal, wasn't it? Um, when it's ultimately scored by Trossard, very close to the edge of the six-yard mm. box, Trent Alexander-Arnold is outside the 18-yard yeah. box. But he's a Liverpool defender. Yeah. So I'm saying, well, if you're a defender, you know, how can you be so far behind the play defensively? Yeah. Um, but, you know, <laughs> Jurgen Klopp's in charge of Liverpool Football Club. I think he likes, generally speaking, what Trent Alexander-Arnold dishes up for him. Yeah, well, there's a lot to like. Yeah, There is a lot to like, no doubt with the ball, yeah. but there's, there's and, that one... Yeah, and it's very easy, isn't it, to, you know, suddenly, you know, the, the fashion is or the trend is to be critical of Trent. Mm. I don't know. Mm. But Liverpool's performances and results haven't been up to par. I mean, just looking at the points that they've had so far on the table, they're down 10 points, Arsenal on 21, the top of the table. Is it too premature to suggest that they are out of the title race, Matt? Um, I think you can make a mild suggestion. That, uh, <laughs> mild <laughs> suggestion? <laughs> just mild, just mild. It's I just think so, so early. <laughs> and for me, that, that, is a, that is a fair old points deficit yeah. after, what, eight, mm. eight matches played? Yep, Are so eight, eight matches for Arsenal, yeah, eight, yeah. Liverpool at seven, City... At 17 points, of course, they're playing tomorrow. Yeah, and, and uh, are Manchester City going to drop that amount of points? I, I, and Liverpool, let's bear in mind, Liverpool now have to go on a run mm. where the pressure's on every for three points every game. And, and I think uh, at the moment, that's, that's a big, big ask. It's very, very early. You can't really write anything out completely, but it's a, it's a tall order for Liverpool to, to pull this back on track at the moment. Lee? I mean, you, you can't really... It, it is too early to, to definitely say they're out of it. I think Liverpool now... It's just because of the way Liverpool have started. They've started so inconsistent and dropped so many points in, in such a short space of time. Liverpool now need to go on a run of 10 or 12 games where they pick up maximum points and City potentially lose one and draw a couple so that so there's sort of gap. You then add a little pressure, bit of pressure to Man City that Liverpool are on the tail. But at the moment, you don't see Liverpool putting a run of 10 games... Um, winning every one of them, the way they're playing. So, so it does seem unlikely that they're going to catch City in the long run. But uh, it's definitely too early to tell, but they are making it a very, very tough job for mm. themselves.